A Little Rock man is missing after mysteriously disappearing 10 days ago. THV 11's Mercedes McKay spoke with his son about why their family desperately needs the public's help. Alan Buckle Sr. was last seen on surveillance footage at this Edwards food giant on Friday, December 18th in the afternoon. Since then, his family has been searching for over a week now with many questions and not a lot of answers. I don't even know how I feel. I'm, it still all seems unreal. And, but I'm making it. Got to. Alan Buckles Jr. can't find the words to describe his emotions as he continues to wait for his dad to walk through their front door. I lost my mom in 2005, and ho holidays have always been kind of tough anyway since then. So this just put the icing on the cake. His dad, Alan Buckles Sr., was last seen one week before Christmas at the Edwards Food Giant on Cantrell Road. He was grabbing some ingredients to make tacos. But as hours and then days passed, Buckles Jr. started to worry because this was highly uncharacteristic of his creature of habit dad. I texted my aunt Sunday to see if he was still over there, assuming that's where he was. She said she hadn't heard from him in a while and he wasn't over there. And that's when I started getting concerned. The missing persons report was filed and on Tuesday, the 63 year old's van was found in Murray Park on its own with no sign of Buckles Sr. But the car locked with his phone and belongings inside. The groceries were still in the van and the receipt was in there said he checked out at Edwards at 324. 10 days after Buckles was last seen, Arkansas State Police continued their search at Murray Park while the family continues to wait in agony. We want him back for sure. If you have any information about where Alan Buckle Sr. is, please contact the Little Rock Police Department immediately. In Little Rock, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News. The family will continue to meet at Murray Park every morning at 7 until they find him. Anyone is welcome to help. Starting tomorrow, game and fish officers will join Little Rock Police in the search. So far, police say they haven't seen anything suspicious about his disappearance.